Hey, what's going on? We're here at uh, EA Redwood Shores. I'm talking with Sam Bass, lead designer Hi. on Command Conquer 4 Tiberian Twilight. Sam, how you doing? I'm good, thanks. How you doing? I'm excellent. Uh, I just got to spend my first time uh, with some of the single-player campaign mm -hmm. in, in CNC 4. The most immediate thing that jumped out at me is the, the narrative style. Playing this one from more of a first-person perspective, it seems like just with the way the story is developing that you're going for more of a, a, a personal look at this universe. What, what kind of uh, inspired that choice? Well, partially it was a desire to sort of move the cinematics forward. It was like this thought, like, if FMV had continued to be the predominant storytelling style in games, right. which for many re good reasons it's not, but if it was, what would it be like now? So we wanted to not just do the sort of traditional CNC thing where you're like a head on a stick that rotates slowly to look at things. Right. So make you a person in the world. And then sort of on a deeper level, it was a chance to, yeah, put you in the universe and sort of get more up close and personal with Kane and with the various characters in the story. So you felt like you actually had some emotional attachment as opposed to just watch the video, play the mission. It seems like maybe you guys are easing off on the... Uh the celebrity cameos some. Uh, what's uh, what's casting like this time around? Well, this time we, you know, we wanted to go for a more believable world. And one of the problems, I love the sort of the celebrity cast in our previous games. Like CNC3, we had like half of Battlestar Galactic in there right. at some point. But we wanted you to really believe the characters, which is hard to do when you go, oh, look, it's... Um, it's Patricia Helfer from Battlestar Galactica. So what we right, she's never that character. It's always, yeah. oh, it's that actor. Exactly. And she was really good, but, you know, it kind of took away a little bit from the story. So we wanted to cast actors who are good actors, but not necessarily famous. Have you got a favorite? Can you, can you call out a, uh, a cast favorite? Uh, my personal favorite is this character we have called Gideon, who's kind of, he wants to be the new Kane. He's decided Kane's old and he's sold out, and he wants to be the younger, sexier Kane and sort of take over Nod. And he's one of the primary antagonists in the story, and he has a scene where he kills someone, which is one of the most screwed up things I think we've ever done. It was really fun to shoot, because we're all going, oh man, they're not going to let us put this in the game. <laughs> and then they did. And then they did. We just had to <laughs> tone it down slightly. Let's talk a little bit uh, about the mechanics. Now, this is probably, aside from you know the, the tone of the game, one of the, the biggest shifts for CNC4 oh, yeah. is how dramatically unlike past CNC games uh, the overall flow of the action is. Now, you guys have pretty much done away with resource gathering. Mm -hmm. You've got these mobile bases, which you can, in it seems like in certain missions, have multiple of. So if you if you crap out with one of your bases, you've got a couple other chances to keep going. Yep, every campaign mission you can respawn. We have a limited number, and then in multiplayer you have unlimited respawns because it's objective-based, so it's less about killing the other guy. That definitely helps. What was ultimately your goal with this this kind of redesign from the ground up of the, the play model in CNC4? Well, what we really wanted to do was sort of, if you look at CNC3, there's a very specific way you play CNC3, where it's really about your build order. It's like, right. if you build the wrong buildings in the wrong order at the beginning, the other guy will win. And that's kind of frustrating if you're not the hardcore guy who knows all the hotkeys and can click 300 times a second and all right. of that. Well, it kind of assumes, uh, you know, a certain familiarity with you know, we're talking about, at this point, a decade of exactly. conventions. Yeah, it was a desire to, so we could still have that sort of fast action, build a bunch of tanks, go up and kill the other guy. If you play as our offense class, that's very much what you do. It's So while we don't have the harvesting, we do have a lot of the classic sort of rush type behaviors. But what we've done is make it so you can play as a turtle. Because I'm a turtle, yeah. which means that as a CNC player, I'm useless. Now, we've got these three classes that you can play mm -hmm. as now. Uh, you've got you know, offensive, defensive, and support. Uh, how did creating these multiple classes kind of uh, uh, affect the, the balancing of the gameplay? Well, we really had to rethink how we do the sort of multiple tiers of units. Because the traditional thing is your tier three units are kind of your game enders. It's like, I'm just going to stomp in with this thing and kill you. Right. And what we did with, with the balance on CNC4 is really what you're getting is a wider variety of tactical options that are a little more esoteric. So, you know, the base level units, you can play perfectly well with those. In fact, for a long time when we were first testing the game, uh, you had like four units to play with. And we're like, if it's fun with four units, then we can only make it better with more. This new structure, does this preclude you from having those those wicked, telltale kind of game enders? Because, uh, you know, launching the nuke or doing the satellite strike, that's just one of those telltale 
Command and Conquer uh, you can events. S- you can definitely still do that. We still have the Iron Cannon, the Nod Nuke, and all of those. It's rather how you use them is slightly different. For instance, the Iron Cannon is no longer got to wait 15 minutes and then drop it on the enemy base. Like, you can use the Iron Cannon pretty much as soon as you built it, within a minute or so, but it's very weak. Or you can let it charge up. So, okay. you, so you have a little more flexibility. And that was sort of one of our, our credos, I guess, is flexibility. Let the player play the game how they want, as opposed to us going, you must play in this specific manner if you're going to win. What's your release date for the game? Platforms? Well, uh, Command & Conquer 4, Tiberian Twilight, comes out March 16th. Excellent. On PC. Thank you very much, sir. Relax. I'm a turtle. Relax. I'm useless. It's the only way to guarantee your safety. You can play as a turtle.